Hello everyone, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another farming video. Yes, in today's video, farming Gorokin sells one of the most, I guess, useful resources inside of the game and one of the ones that a lot of people have trouble with. Now, through my vigorous testing of locations, of uh, warframes, of everything, I have found two spots and two different methods to farming Gorokin cells. Now one of them is a fast assassination mission and the other one is going to be a dark sector survival mission. So in today's video let's talk about that. The first one is going to be on Saturn Tethys which is the assassination mission on of course Saturn. And killing the boss is honestly pretty easy. Bring yourself a Warframe that increases your damage. Like, for example, honestly, you pretty much just need Rhino or Rhino Prime. A pretty decent weapon. I use the Nautilus Bow here, and I pretty much one-shot him to two-shot him in, in most scenarios if I get the, the perfect shot, as this weapon has this mechanic. And basically, you should get around two or three Orkin Cells, even if you find one of those, I guess... Or can sell pods, which would be pretty useful, and that is something you're, that you I would recommend that you search for. Uh, you're gonna get around two or three per run, and these runs shouldn't take you a long time. This should take you around maybe two or three minutes, maybe maximum for three or can sells. Honestly, a pretty good trade-off, and it is a pretty easy mission to do, plus maybe you can get Ember, and plus you do get Ember parts as well, which you can sell for credits later on, which is gonna be, a, I guess, a decent source of credits as well, so that's kind of like two birds, one stone type of thing. Uh, also, you could try the capture mission and then just, I guess, explore the map a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, you have to keep in mind that you have less of a chance of getting them there because the boss itself will drop Orkin cells, but not all of the time, so keep that in mind. Now, the second way of farming, of course, is the survival method, and this survival method is going to be, of course, sort of the same principle as every other one is. Korra with Pilfering Shangle Dome, Nova, Speed Nova preferably, to increase the speed of the enemies, uh, a buff frame such as Wisp, and then the fourth one could be a I guess a DPS maybe, or just a random player that you have on your team, maybe Rhino to increase your damage with a Roar, or for example Volt, or I don't know, some other Warframe that could increase your damage, I guess. So, basically, you're gonna go on Gabby, uh, which is, I think, on Ceres, if I remember correctly, and I think it is, it is a Dark Sector for Survival Mission, uh, and uh, pretty much you're gonna stay in one spot and just farm yourself up some Orican cells and this it is on Ceres I just uh, double checked that because I quite wasn't sure about where it actually was so basically find yourself a team go into a corner of the map and farm yourself some Orican cells uh, in around maybe five or six minutes I've able to been gathered like around two or three Orican cells of course you have to keep in mind or uh, drop chance booster and a drop booster research drop booster is always going to be very helpful and very useful uh, I was in one occasion I remember it uh, very very fondly. It was, uh, I played Gabby, of course, on Ceres. I had a full squad with Necros. I completely forgot about Necros. There you go. Necros is your fourth one. Um, and, uh, I wanted to say that I played on Ceres, on Gabby, for around 30 minutes or 40 minutes. I had a resource doubler booster, so I got, per one pickup, I got two Orkin cells. In that mission, in around 30 minutes, I was very, very lucky. We have gotten ourselves 86 Orkin cells per 30 minutes, which was very lucky, believe me, because I've, I mean, 40, 43, but we, I had a doubler, so uh, keep that in mind. But 43 Orkin cells per 30 minutes is not that shabby at all now you could go inside of the steel path uh and go inside of the steel path here you do have an extra drop chance as well so combine that with the dark sector drop chance with your drop chance booster and of course your resource doubler your uh chance of an extra drop through core strangle dome uh, which is 65 percent and the necrosis you are gonna farm up 
Orkin cells like it's nothing, and you're never gonna have trouble with Orkin cells ever again. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, uh, check out my channel if you're new here. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe for more content. I try to help out as many new players as I possibly can. And that is mostly it. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been the Gaming Weasel. Over and out.